Live from San Francisco, extracting the signal from the noise, it's The Cube, covering Oracle Open World 2015 from Studio C, brought to you by Cisco. Now your host, Stu Miniman. Welcome back to Oracle Open World 2015. I'm Stu Miniman with Wikibon, and this is SiliconANGLE Media's The Cube. We go out to all the big industry events, help extract the signal from the noise. Happy to have two members of the IOUG, which is the independent Oracle user group. Uh, Troy Ligon, who is with American Express in his day job, and we've got Michelle Colby, who's with backcountry.com. Both of you, thank you for joining us on The Cube. Thank you. Thanks, Stu. All right, so Troy, I'll, I'll start with you. Tell us a little bit about you know, what you do and, and how you got involved with IOUG. Uh, I've been running a regional users group for about 15 years now, and so that got me started with the IOUG, and recently stepped up to the board as well, and so been working with uh, their alliances and their partners, such as Cisco, uh, for the last six months or so. Yeah. All right, and, and Michelle, uh, you know, what, what do you do, and what, what's your role with IOUG? With the IOUG, I'm the board, board, I'm the board of directors over regionals. And I got involved because I live in Utah. I've been leading the user group there for quite a while and uh, wanted to take it more to a bigger stage where I can make more of a difference. All right, so great. You know, I, the research company I work with is Wikibon. Uh, you know, we, we talk about, uh, you know, practitioners uh, sharing with their peers. It, it's great when you can kind of, you know, get those good stories, to talk to the other people uh, that, that have similar kind of things you, you've done. Uh, I, I spend a lot of time in the virtualization community. Everybody knows kind of the V mugs that they have. Um, can, can, can one of you give me, just kind of, you know, what, what's the scope of the IOUG? How, how is it managed? Maybe, Michelle, you're, you're on the board. You know, what, what does the organization look like and what, what's the the global scope of it. So Troy's also on the board, so okay. I'll let him fill in if I miss anything. But the sure. IOUG covers all the database storage topics. They cover business intelligence, which is what I really care about, big data. Um, am I missing anything? <laughs> uh, we, we run the gamut pretty much of all of the Oracle space and all of the glue that binds all of the apps together. So think tuning and best practices and those sorts of things. Um, all of the Oracle shops uh, have a reason to be involved with the IOUG. All right, great. You know, one of the things we, we've been talking about this week, there's, there's a lot of change going on in the industry. Oh, uh, absolutely. You know, Oracle came out talking big about cloud. Uh, Michelle, you, you mentioned big data. Uh, how often are you refreshing what you're doing? How, you know, what's the interaction with your user community as to what new topics they're working on? Uh, is, I, I gotta imagine there's a lot of things keeping you all busy. Oh, it's crazy trying to keep up. And Coming to events like this, it's like you're thrown at so many different concepts that I just want to go home and learn so much more. And I rely on the user group community to help me with that. Uh, there will be a few things that I dig into on my own, but then I rely on the community to help me with all those pieces I'm missing. All right. Absolutely. Right. The, the networking opportunities you get at Open World or at LUGs Collaborate, any of the meetups and the mashups and so forth, those are vital to the careers of the, of the current crop of folks. You're never going to get that in an online, just a class, those sorts of things. It's, it's these types of events where you can move your career forward and, and stay fresh. Our, our jobs are a constant learning opportunity uh, for, for an entire career. Yeah, so. so one of the challenges, of course, you're an independent group. But Oracle. you need to have a direct feed with Oracle and, and, and get updates from them. You know, wh what is the relationship and, you know, kind of, I, I don't know, structurally, uh, you know, how is their interaction between, does, does Oracle give funding towards that? How, how does all that work? Uh, or Oracle's an excellent partner. Um, they work with us year round uh, to provide funding for some of our activities, but really more on a sponsorship type of basis. Um, we're an independent organization as, you know, our name tells back years ago that wasn't the case, but uh, now it is. And so over the course of the year, we get access to their product management. We get advanced information on things that are coming down the pike so that we can start getting our members up to speed and geared up for the learning opportunities they're going to need to get in front of to stay current on whatever Larry has dreamed up for the next round, right? Yeah, one of the things that's always interesting about the user groups is, you know, it's users 
that run them. But yeah. there's usually sponsorships and you've got, I mean, big ecosystem here. You talk, you know, here we are with Cisco, there, there's so many companies here giving prentices pre everything. Um, sometimes you've got people that run a group and they go work for a vendor and then I got to go change and everything. Can you maybe speak to some of those dynamics? You know, what do you see kind of the, the, the customer and the ecosystem uh, from, from the user group? Our, our user group relies on all those different parties. It's people who are in there using the tools in their everyday job. There's consultants that are seeing what many different companies are dealing with, and then also our partnerships that we have with companies like Cisco who can help augment what we're maybe struggling with with different tools with their products. Absolutely, and you know, going even further, our, you know, we have several big sponsors, Cisco's one of our greatest proponents. They work with us year round. Uh, they work with us at our Collaborate event. Um, this past year they sponsored a, a um, pre-event uh, learning opportunity for the folks. Um, they sponsor the Women in Technology that Michelle's a, a large portion of. Um, so without sponsors like that, you couldn't run such a, an organization. There's a lot of moving parts a lot of things that you have to do to, to run an organization like this and be able to bring the content. We do road shows and those sorts of things to bring the content to our community, um, keeping the website up, those sorts of things, driving the speakers to come in and present to the community. So, so all of that, you, you got to have great partners and, and Cisco is one of those, yeah. And if I could chime in about women in technology, I think it's amazing to have a partner like Cisco helping us and supporting that cause and showing that there really is value in, in supporting the women in the community, giving them a platform to meet each other, network with each other, and give them that support to say, we know that you're doing amazing things and we want you to keep growing that community. And th that's great. So, uh, you know, this is like homecoming for everybody that's involved in Oracle. I mean, almost 60,000 people a year. Could talk a little bit about, you know, how many people from the IOUG are here, what kind of events you're doing, and you know, how many times you're getting together. Or, you know, do you just, you know, hang out here for a couple of weeks now? You know? Yeah, it, it's really a community. We, uh, we've got a group of folks that I see twice a year. We see them here and we see them at Collaborate, and I've known them for, you know, in some cases 30 years, right? And yet, we get to see each other twice a year and talk. Over the, over the rest of the year, so uh, pretty good sized group. Uh, we have a booth on, on the second floor and it's kind of like a meeting space that we all run into each other and we have that common ground to bump into each other at all times. As far as formal events, there's a lot going on this week and we're all busy, but yeah. trying to balance everything going on. Yeah, uh, so you know, one of the things I always love the dynamics of this is you have to be local, but you have to share with your peers, and you have to get to know what's going on. How, how do you guys communicate? You know, what, what kind of you know best practices do you kind of you know help pro proliferate right around around the world? Uh, I'm very active on Twitter, yeah. and Twitter has this whole Oracle community that supports each other. Uh, one of the really cool things that I experienced this week is the Oracle Developer Choice Awards, which was allowing the community to recommend others in that network for these awards of being experts and contributing. And the Twitter handle that was going out about that was really fun to watch. It's fun to see everyone communicating over that medium, even though there's a lot of miles between us. Yeah. We have a, a great website as well uh, that has both a, a members area where they have opportunities to have forums and discussions with their peers, as well as a, a free section of the site where anybody can get involved and see some of our content, that sort of thing as well. So we've got a list server that's been going for a lot of years as well. That's a, an old school way to communicate, one of the earliest of the social media. Uh, and so we have a pretty active group of folks on there as well. Yeah, I, I guess you bring up a great point. How do people get involved? You, you got the listserv, you got the website. Come on, you guys got some Slack channels going. What, what, what's the new way that, 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 that uh, how does everybody get in touch with the IOUG? Uh, she's the social butterfly, right? <laughs> uh, our website's our best resource. That's where we have our select journals listed online. We have lots of different articles, links to our events and the presentations that people have done at events. So the website's the best method. All right, well, Troy and Michelle, really appreciate you coming to share uh, all the good stuff going on with the IOEG. Wish you best of luck with the rest of the event and uh, I hope everybody checks out the website and helps participate because the uh, community's a real important part of everything going on. In Thank you very much. We'll be right back Thanks with lots support. more coverage here from Oracle Open World 2015. This is theCUBE. Thanks for watching.